MLB Network welcomes you inside Guaranteed Rate Field in Chicago. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Jose Quintana gets the ball for the White Sox in this one. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Into the box steps the leadoff man Dustin Pedroia and we are ready for baseball. Off the afternoon for Boston. Second baseman. Number 15. on the south side as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. Harold these White Sox as they enter play today they suffered a bit of a setback last time out but not to worry they're still six and two over their previous eight ball games. Well Matt I mean the simple way to put it they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory and you really do the game's over you can't do anything about it you got to come back today and play better and win. 2-0 pitch and that one's over for a strike. That's pretty good break right there breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Pedroia waiting on the 2-1. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Garcia is there, and Pedroia's gone to open up the ball game. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, there aren't a lot of guys with the talent and determination of Dustin Pedroia. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. In past meetings with Jose Quintana, nine base hits in 24 at bats. What? Laid off as it caught the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. One and and one. here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Pitch on the way. Yeah. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Yeah, Matt, and Hendricks is another one of those well-respected umpires. Some say he favors one side of the plate from time to time. But most of the time, it's not very noticeable. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Sanchez is there. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. Now to the plate, Mookie Betts. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. From the stretch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Runners on first with one down.
and that misses one and one. Wow that one was a decent strike. breaking ball right there but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Open to send him packing pitch on its way takes this the other way to right and that's in there base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now Matt I love this four. offense and they're deep Very now they got the leadoff guy out Henley but then all of a sudden Ramirez. the two hitter and the three hitter get hits and before you know it you're in trouble so digging in now Hanley Ramirez He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. From the belt, the pitch skied into straightaway right. Garcia has a read on it. He's got it and there are two down now. Stepping into the box Xander Bogarts and you see what he's done in recent action obviously seeing the ball well right now. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch there's a knee high pitch that catches the zone in past meetings with Jose Quintana four for twelve looking to wiggle out of this here it is crowds him a bit with a fastball there and it's to one and one two down runners at first and second. No oh. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Oh. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Ready on three and one here it comes and he misses ball four. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting box here in the first giving up a Batting couple of set. base knocks in that walk. First innings are Jackie often some of the toughest Bradley for a starting pitcher. Junior. Here's Jackie Bradley now hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch is a fastball inside one and oh. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good but it's two and oh. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on two and oh and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Takes a knee high fastball. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Just got a piece up the line. That's a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Fly ball out toward right field. Garcia giving chase. One run scores. 
And then will get over the wall, in fact. So two runs will score, but not the third. Left fielder, Bruce Castillo. Standing in now, Rusne Castillo, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Looking to minimize the damage here. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Swing and a liner. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. He's set. Here's the two-two. Now here's a swing and a high pop up drifting into shallow right field. Moncada is there and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Red Sox lead it two to nothing. Chris Sale gets the call for game one of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's been throwing the ball really well his last three outings. In the last three outings, he's allowing just less than a base runner an inning. When you do that, you're going to win games. And that's the key to his success in the last three games so far. And here's the leadoff man, Melky Cabrera, to get us rolling in the home half of the and first. Leading off for the White Sox. Left fielder, Melky Cabrera. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon, HR. They've been on a real nice run of late, winning five of their last six games. Here we are at the bottom of the first, and they've been playing well, and it looks like that good baseball is going to continue. They already find themselves leading 2 nothing at the bottom of the first inning. They're playing good right now. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Pitch on the way. This is in the air out to right field. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. A moment here from the south side to take a look at the Pale Ho's starting lineup in this one. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, you come in and you realize, man, we're already down two. What do you do? You play within yourself. We get a leadoff guy on. The next man moves him up or moves him over. Then our middle guys, maybe we hit a big bop to get in it. You don't have to go get two runs this inning. Just get one. Keep chipping away and giving yourself a chance. So striding forward now, Johan Moncada. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First pitch on its way. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Grounder down the line at third. And a diving effort there at third. Good way to bruise your ribs. How much for one of them ribs? It's a foul ball. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Johan Moncada becomes out number two this inning. Hey, if you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, 
keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Standing in, Jose Abreu, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. Fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. That's a pitch to build on right there. In this ballpark, the ball's flying. You want to keep the ball down. That was excellent. Sale has his target. Here's the 0-1. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. The ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Really deceptive change up there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Pitch on the way. Chop foul over towards the dugout. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail things here two to nothing. Settling in now, Sandy Leon. Day off for him yesterday, but back out Number there three. for this one. Sandy Leon. Here's the first pitch to him. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Pitch on the way. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Well, clearly he's not sitting changeup with that swing. I like the early changeup. Now it sets up your fastball and all your other off speed stuff because now the changeup, anything's faster than that. He's got him off balance now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Mokata has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, Matt, time for majestic defensive alignment for the White Sox. And I'm looking down there at the milk man, Melky Cabrera. I love how this guy plays defense. Started his career in the middle of the field playing center, and then he's gone to both sides. He's got the arm, and he's got the versatility to play all the different positions. He's a really good defender. Striding in, Josh Rutledge, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The windup and the 0 1. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I'm no hitting expert. But you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 0 2. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. Ready on 1 and 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Moncada ranges back and he has it for route number 2. 
now batting number 15, second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. A fastball oh. here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. Pedroia waiting, the 1 0. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're up two to nothing. At the plate, Todd Frazier and he comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Todd Frazier. First pitch coming here it is just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Ready with the one one pitch tap down the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Here comes the one two from sale. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. OK let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox brought to you by Majestic and I love watching these guys play defense they're the highest fielder percentage in the American League you talk about range digging balls out on bad throws they do it all they can defend. And here's Tyler Saladino he drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be as afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. Foul back. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Here it comes on nothing and two. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Hey, not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Hey, he's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. So here is Avisayo Garcia. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes in here right at 260. Three homers, 18 driven in. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Sales ready. Here he comes on 2 0. Hit back up the middle. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. 
He was in a position to wait for his pitch on 2 and 0, and he got it to keep the inning hot. Well, this is the six hitter he faces. He finally gives up a hit, but man, he's looking sharp today. I think he's going to have a good game. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Sanchez. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. He's set. Here it comes. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Here comes the 1 0. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. One and one, here it comes. And this will be fouled away. Well, that got him in the rocking chair right now. A little changeup follow up with the fastball. He's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another changeup. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. White Sox leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side as we get a nice look at the Chicago skyline from above the shores of Lake Michigan. Stepping in and ready for Getting another for shot, Jose Ramirez. He'll stand in Jose to open things up Ramirez. here in the third. Third inning underway oh. now as a curveball misses here to start things out. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Ready with the 1 0 oh pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. The batter, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Digging in for his second at bat, Mookie Betts. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch on its way. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. A breaking ball taken on the inside corner. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Takes something off, but it's 1 and 2 now. And the pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another one too. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And the pitch. Now a swing and a ball foul tip straight into the catcher's glove as he's able to hold on for the second out. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Here's Hanley Ramirez. As he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. So with that, the top of the third inning will continue at least one more batter. Well, there's a little two-out base hit. Good Maybe start a little two-out two rally. Now he's Sanders. giving up some runs. Okay. He's a little vulnerable. We've seen him give up runs already in this game. So maybe this is a start of something big. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and all. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now a snap move over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. He 
He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Oh, wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. And he is safe at second, and the wild pitch here could prove costly with two away. And things have really unraveled on him in a hurry. He gives up a two out single, then he throws a wild pitch to put him into scoring position. He basically just threw a double, and he didn't even earn it. Ready with the 2 0. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. To two and two now. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Working for the punch out and the offering. Count is full. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Red Sox leave one, but they hold a two nothing lead. Into the box. Peter Borges is looking to extend that hitting streak, which stands at eight games Center coming Fielder. in. Peter Borges. Into the windup and the pitch. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And there's the first out. And with one gone, time for a check of the standings to see where the Red Sox place in the American League East. Set to get his day started, Kevin Smith. Batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also head toward the right side of the infield. Ramirez backs up and takes care of it. The two away. Fielder, number 53, Melky Here's Melky Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, no balls and a strike. No balls, strike. Sale has his target. Here's the 0-1. Lays off one, the one. slider and it's one and one. And he'll come back two with one in the dirt five. as the count moves to two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Looks at a nope. fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. 
Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Well, Thought we were going to see 10. the bat splintered, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Striding in once again. Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll try to get it going Center here to begin the fourth. Jackie Bradley Jr. Into the windup and the pitch. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the ball, inning. No the number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Just nope. missing oh. here, 2 0. Oh. Seems to be two like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Digging in to try it again. Rusne Castillo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Low for one ball one. Oh, come on. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. Wow that was a crazy at bat. He swung at every pitch out of the zone. Finally got a pitch in the zone and drilled it for a hit. Sometimes it's better to swing than to take. In now, Sandy Leon, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the 0 1. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Sanchez. Takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting. Into Designated the box hitter. now. Josh, Josh Rutledge. Rutledge. Roll for one for him here in this one. Now a snap throw to first. A dive but he's back. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0 and 2 now. From the belt, the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Borges on the run. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. One left for the Red Sox as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Back 
back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Jose Abreu is ready to start out the inning. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will make the running catch near the stands. A tough play there on the run for the third first down. Number 21, Todd Lead Frazier. off man retired. Here's the third baseman, Todd Frazier. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a ball 1-0. One oh count here it is and the change up is way low that time now with the two oh count and the power at the plate it could be fireworks time this is the kind of count he makes his money in. Here's the pitch. Yeehaw. Strike called two and one. Set to deliver on two and one. Hit hard to short. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And here's Tyler Saladino. First time up, he went down looking. Tyler Saladino. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Pitch out, nothing doing. Sail ready with the 2 0. In the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Set. Here's the 3-0. Here's the two-seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Now batting right fielder Avisail Garcia. So stepping in Avisail Garcia, a base hit in his first trip. And a fastball's in there for strike one. That's a good oh, pitch right there. Now he's ahead in the count. You got the hitter back on his heels a little bit. Even though it's a tough situation, you know, you're going to have to use all your pitches to pitch out of it. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Uh -oh. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. One and one. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Swings through the slider there. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen. If you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like you did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Into the box now, Carlos Sanchez. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the 1-0. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. This is where the big dogs show up. You got runners on, you got a 2-0 count. You got to make a pitch on the corner and have confidence you can put it there. Don't groove one. That's when you get hurt. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Let's go. 
from the belt. Kicks and deals. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Missed a pretty good pitch to hit right there. You know he wants that one back because you usually don't get more than one of those in an at bat. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. White Sox strand a couple. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Dustin Pedroia. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. That was a pretty good pitch on a pitch he doesn't throw very often, or I should say hasn't used in this game, that's for sure. That was a good pitch. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. And oh look out up and in and nearly took his head off. I'll tell you there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him. But when you're facing a guy like this you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Line hard toward right center. And Pedroia has got himself a base hit. It sounds so cliche. It's stayed inside the baseball but that's up a ball in Red on Sox. him and he just shot it Perry the other baseman. way for the base hit. Jose Ramirez. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Right He's set. Here comes the one one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Aboard at first is Pedroya here with nobody out. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. He's set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but now especially back. troublesome right when you give up a single right Mookie before that to start back. the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Here comes the White Sox skipper out toward the mound, and he's going to make a change as that'll do it for Jose Quintana. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. Derek Holland is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Derek Holland. Mookie Betts will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Come on, 
He's set and the pitch takes a high fastball for a strike. Now that's not fair. Hey, you're supposed to be throwing sinkers and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe yes the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Up next for the Red Sox. Ready once again, Hanley Ramirez. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Oh, that was a good looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. First and second now, one man out. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Now a ball hits sharply toward third and this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll played one for sure and maybe a second. The runner scores from second and not in time as the second run scores. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Here's Xander Bogarts now as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 0 1 and that sinker misses at the shoe tops ball one. One and one, here it is. Right two. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, now it's a one two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Frazier's up with it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting. Center fielder. Here's Jackie, Jackie Bradley now. Bradley. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Two out here and a runner at second. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox are out in front, four to nothing. Here's Peter Borges standing in. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and, and it's been tough Sox. sledding for this lineup Center through the Fielder. first half of the game. Peter yeah, they Barta. haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Changeup messed up his timing for a swinging strike. Hey, 
There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Now it's not always about velocity. There's some Hall of Fame pitchers that didn't throw that hard, but they made a living with that pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Betts is there. And that's the first out of the inning. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Kevin Smith will be next. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. And a That's neck high fastball. fastball that time. Yeah. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Out of play. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So striding in, Melky Cabrera, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Too high, one and oh. One ball, no strikes. Let's go, White Sox. That one's gonna find the seats, strike one. Taken for a cold strike two. We are watching him reach back and just challenge it with the fastball. Now we got a one two count, and that's three fastballs in a row. Runner at first here, one man out. On. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of. Anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, 
especially when it's not your home ballpark. In the dirt here. And a heads up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. The one and two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Gloved by Bogarts. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. A man left for the White Sox. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Digging in and looking for more, Rusne Castillo. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Sanchez is up with it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The catcher, number three, Sandy Leon. Ready for another chance? Sandy Leon, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to center field. In for a look is Borges, but this gets down a base hit. Well, that wasn't a very good pitch to hit, but there's a lot of hits up the middle. Dropped the bat now head on it, stayed with it, and just took it back hitter, up the box. Josh Rutledge. Stepping in now, Josh Rutledge. Good. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Off That's the plate, ball. one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. As a look, now the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now batting number 15, second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. First pitch on its way. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. 3-0 and oh now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Hey. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. He's set. Here's the 3 1. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Now batting, third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Digging in to try it again, Jose Ramirez. 
one for two on his line so far in the game. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Garcia has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Boston strands a couple, but they're in front four to nothing. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game if this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field and he will run this one down moving to his right and that's the Third first out of the inning. Todd Frazier. Riding in once again Todd Frazier he's one for two in the ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Takes a knee high fastball. One and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Frazier is retired. Two down now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tyler Saladino. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Sale has his target. Here's the first pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 and 0. Avisail Garcia would be next. Two out, nobody on. Yeah. And that's finally over for a strike. Well, he made a nice adjustment. That was a nice pitch right there, 3 0. Now puts a count 3 1. That was the same pitch he threw 2 0 and missed on it and got ball called. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. Hits this one hard the other way. Pedroia fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They're down four nothing. Back here on the south side of Chicago Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh but first here's a look at our game summary to this point. Ready once again Mookie Betts he'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Drilled to first. Fielded by Abreu. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. First baseman. 
Hanley Ramirez. Here's Hanley Ramirez. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat. One and zero. One out. Nobody on. Ball two. No, Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Too high, and it's three and oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Ready for another shot now. Xander Bogarts. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. But uh, next as a result, side. it's one of those seeing eye singles. Just Jackie found the hole. Bradley Jr. Digging in once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Way out in front. close with the slider there but it's one and one after two breaking pitches a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it so if you're looking for it go ahead and turn that baby loose runners are at first and second with one away good looking sinker on the inside corner From the belt, the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. And that will become out number two. Now batting, left fielder, Bruce Castillo. Striding into the box, Bruce Castillo. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. From the stretch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Pops this one up, and Abreu will make the play, and that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple, but they hold a four to nothing lead. So here is Avisayo Garcia, and, and he'll step in to start right things out Taylor. against Chris Sale. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. You see there the pitch count is up to 88, and at this point in the game, that's a good place to be, so I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. And a rather easy first out. 
The batter number five, shortstop, Carlos Sanchez. Into the box now, Carlos Sanchez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Way in front of that fastball. This has been an interesting game to watch. I mean, he's less than 60% of the time he's throwing that first pitch for strikes. So he's been having to throw stress pitches almost to every hitter. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out. And now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seven. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here comes another 0 2. And that one stayed up a little high. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Here's a high pop up. Pedroia is there for it. Two gone. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's Peter Borges standing in. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ball two now. Looks at a change up right over the middle. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Tell you what, six and two thirds, he got 100 pitches. He's done a nice job being really economical with his pitches. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Man, when you're winning on the road, the last thing you want to do is give the home crowd a reason to get back into it. Well, when you hit the leadoff, man, that's exactly what you do. Kevin Smith will be next. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Hey, the guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Ready with the 1 0. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. A runner on first with two away. On the ground up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield well, single. Uh oh, what a play. Now you got to rule that a base LT hit, but man, the shortstop made a great effort on that just to knock the ball down. But that's going to be ruled a hit, no doubt about it. Digging in the switch hitter, Melky Cabrera. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. First pitch of the at bat. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Sale sets. Here it comes on 1 0. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Squared that one up just a little late. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
And a fastball down low as that one just about got away from him. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him from what I could tell. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. This ball will be chopped foul. Another try at 2-2. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. We'll try it again. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Ready with another 2-2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And that ends the inning. White Sox strand a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Tommy Kingley comes on to work now, now and he's their White usual Sox. closer but Number this is obviously not a safe Tommy opportunity. Kingley. Yeah this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and Maybe give him a chance Sox. to pitch in a real Look, game situation Number here. Three. Sandy Leon. To short, right to Sanchez. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, a designated hitter, Josh. Settling Rutledge. in now, Josh Rutledge. He was a ground out victim last time up. And some stirring now in the White Sox bullpen as it looks like a right hander's up and throwing. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One ball, and a bit right. too high with that one, it's 1 and 0. Oh. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. And that misses 2 and 1. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. to two and two now he's set here's the two two and this is swung on and missed two are quickly retired to start inning number eight well we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike he's working on a one for three thus far. Comes set and the 0 1 fastball whoa look out that just about got him in the coconut not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not but I liked it as a pitcher sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off a play fight running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Down the third baseline. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Well, third baseman did everything he could on that ball. That ball was just scorched right past him. He laid out, got third dirty. Baseman. I thought for a Jose second he was going to have it. Ramirez. Just couldn't come up with it.
in now. Jose Ramirez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he is safe at second, and the wild pitch here could prove costly with two away. Well, this inning was looking routine, and then with one base hit and a wild pitch later, things are looking a lot different. Now a base hit scores a run, got to reset on the mound and make some good pitches here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Nope. Oh. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two out here and a runner at second. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Rounded up the first baseline. Great stop by Abreu. He's out. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. MLB Network is back on the south side after this. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. He leads off their the half of the eighth, and they've been unable Second to get that front. starter out of the game Yohan. to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. He's gone hitless in this one Dan and he's not alone. No he's not Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. And now a pitch on the way. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Now here's the pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, that's great discipline. He's clearly sticking with his plan. Those two balls were down. He's thinking to himself, make him get it up before I swing. Get it off the knees. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. A little tapper. In time to first, and there are two away. Third baseman number 21, Todd. Here's Todd Frazier now, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. 
Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Sale has his target. First pitch on its way. This is hit on the ground, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. David Robertson please. enters from the now pen to start the ninth Sox. inning as he'll try to Number keep 30. the score right where it David is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Robertson. Now at the plate, Mookie Betts. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Mookie Betts. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. and one here it comes and he lays off for ball one a one and one count here's the pitch two and one at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now batting the first baseman. Hanley Ramirez. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. 0 for 4. First pitch on its way. Donnie straightens him up with a fastball that time. It's ball one. You know, I doubt he wanted to get that tight with the fastball there, but hey, this is a guy you certainly don't want to let him get his arms extended. He's the kind of guy that can hurt you. One out, nobody on. Cut fastball, and it's by him one and one. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch of the at-bat. The cutter runs outside, ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. 
Clearly, they're not trying to give him anything to hit, are they? I mean, everything's away, but he's sitting 2-0. Let's see if he extends and maybe looks outside to drive something. Here it comes, 2-0. Sent on the ground out to second. Moncada fields it cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. They lead it 4 to nothing. Fernando Rodriguez will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Fernando Rodriguez. And here's Tyler Saladino. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Yeehaw. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate but probably too good to take and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah that pitch was right on the black beautiful pitch and even if we had robot umps he'd still be out but the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Stepping up now Avisail Garcia he was retired via the ground ball last time up. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Late that time for a strike. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A shot down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. He strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now batting. The shortstop, Carlos so Sanchez. digging in now, Carlos Sanchez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Into the windup and the pitch. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. All right, let's go. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now.
Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 4 nothing. the score this afternoon. Chris Sale earns his sixth winning decision in this one, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jose Quintana was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network.